You're listening to Pop Punk Radio, your home for great music and prophecies of the darkness to come. Don't touch that dial. You're listening to Pop Punk Radio with your host, Azatov. We've got some more great music coming up for you next, so keep it tuned right where it's at. You're listening to the sounds of Pop Punk Radio. Can you hear the Ancient Ones stirring? That's not just your imagination. And the hour fast approaches. This is your host, Azatov. Good friends, great songs, and the whispers of a nameless horror deep within the earth. I'm your host, Azatov, and you're listening to Pop Punk Radio. Greetings, listeners. You're listening to Pop Punk Radio. Soon the last bell will toll, and none but the master shall stand between you and the gaping abyss, and you will know the true meaning of terror. Until then, stay tuned. I'm Azatov, and you're listening to Pop Punk Radio. Thanks, everybody, for joining us today. And a very special thank you to our mysterious benefactor, who shall remain nameless. Stay tuned. This is Azatov. Like many of our listeners, I have looked into the void, and I know what is to come. The Nameless One will return and cleanse this world. But first, let's hear another favorite. Thanks for tuning in, friend. Sit back, relax, and prepare yourself. This is Azatoth, and you're listening to Pop Punk Radio. A friendly reminder from your friends here at Pop Punk Radio. The Dark Master's arrival has been foretold, and so it shall come to pass. In other words, there's not a lot you can do about it either way, so you might as well welcome it. Thanks for joining us today. I'm your host, Azatov. Dark arts, divination, forbidden magic. Of course, the first thing you learn, nothing is actually forbidden. It's all a matter of degree. There's got to be limits, of course, beyond which things begin to break. But when too much still isn't enough, and you're not really feeling up for an unholy union, well, you know what I do when the darkness creeps in. Roller skating! I don't actually participate myself. You'd have to be a lunatic, but it is a tremendous sport to watch. I can even sense it now. The second hand of doom silently taking a slight misstep, an unnatural twist, a sudden crack, and they all stand aghast and scream in horror. I've got to hand it to them. Those parents know how to party. You're listening to Pop Punk Radio. One of our listeners, Amanda, just wrote in. I love the music, and I get that you support Cthulhu and the annihilation of our world. But don't you sometimes get freaked out because it's all so horrifying? Well, that's a fair question, Amanda. Now, let me ask you a question. What do you call it when you take excretions from the glands of a cow and mix it with sweetened glue? Hmm? That's right, ice cream. And that should prove once and for all that something horrifyingly unthinkable can also at the same time be 
absolutely delightful. Who knows? Maybe everything's horrifying if you think about it too closely. Food for thought. Or maybe you'll pass. Either way, thanks for listening. This is Azatoth. Now, let's hear another song. Some days, we get lots of questions from our listeners. Teddy G wrote in today, What is it with you guys? Do you really want Cthulhu to come and enslave us? What kind of idiots are you? Well, that's a fair question, Teddy. It all might seem a little self-defeating. But on the other hand, don't you want to accomplish something in your life? And as far as slavery goes, nobody here at Pop Punk Radio is in favor of enslaving individual people, of course. That's just going to make them feel singled out. But if we're talking about enslaving everybody, well, that sounds fair to me. Thanks for tuning in. This is Azatoth. Don't touch that dial. Ah! Another fan just wrote in. Hi, Azza. Love the music. One simple question for you. How can you support such wickedness? Hmm. It's terrifying that a seemingly reasonable person could defend something so obviously wrong. Well, thanks for that. And to answer your question, it's really all about attitude. Let me give you an example. Imagine a scary, evil vampire. And now, imagine a cute, happy kitty. Now, this kitty is a little naughty and playful sometimes. She wouldn't say no to a bit of blood at dinner time, but that, that doesn't make her a monster. Maybe she lays the mouse's teeny little spleen on the carpet for display next to the lungs. But that's just the miracle of nature. Is the kitty the same as the evil, scary vampire? Of course not, because the kitty is nice about it. And that's, that's what it's all about. It really doesn't matter who or what you are or what you do, as long as you stay focused on making sure people feel okay with it. And that's as simple as a smile. You're listening to Pop Punk Radio. You know, friends, the greatest thing about this job, aside from all our lovely listeners, has got to be all the perks. We have a coffee machine here next to a vending machine, and on the table beside it, there's some donuts. Mmm. And a sink. Trust me, they've got nothing like this where I'm from. And I must admit, it is a nice change to see people who aren't in an abject state of terror all the time though it does seem like they spend an awful amount of effort fooling themselves. Imagine the look on their faces when they realize it's suddenly the end. (laughs) But until then, thanks for joining us. Now, let's hear another favorite. We must be doing something right here at Pop Punk Radio. The lines are flooded. Apparently, word has finally gotten out about the Dark Master's imminent return, and everybody is excited. Well, not everybody is happy about it, but let's all just take a breath and consider some alternative things to be worried about. Like bananas. Smells delicious, but beware. Serious choking hazard. The peels are deadly, too, to an unsuspecting passerby. Or bees. I mean, very nice. We love the bees, of course, but some of them are weaponized. Trust me, if you ask around, you'll find some people who believe it, and that will confirm it for you. Mm -hmm. Bears, obviously dangerous. Bowling, extremely embarrassing. Badminton, need I say more. And that's just a few things, beginning with B. There's lots of other things besides that. So, let's try to keep your annihilation in context. 